everyone. We're going on, we're on Wee Fishing Resort, about to go to Cannon Lake. Yeah. Come on, Jen, say hi. Hi. All right, here we are. Got a ride from that guy. He always gives us rides places, don't he? Yeah. Okay, so now we're at Canaan Lake. We got a lot of fish we haven't caught here yet, guys. So it's early in the morning, so we still got lots of time here. Uh, let's see what challenges we have. Always look at the board for the challenges because you want to catch as many fish as you can in all these different locations. Hynaria, I don't think we've caught one of those yet, so let's show you how to catch a Hynaria. We haven't caught one of those with this user. I've caught one with other users, and Jan's has too, but not with have this user. Have we made a video of that? No, we never caught a video, had a video of catching a Hynaria, I don't believe at all. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We could rent a kayak. But it takes a lot longer to get to these farther places with a kayak, so let's go ahead and rent a, one of these boats instead. A motorboat. Yeah. I like the motorboat. Yeah, ignore This the is one kayak. of my favorite bikes. Yeah, boats. ignore the kayak. Right, Dad? Yeah, I would. I would I would use this one instead. It gets you over there a lot quicker. Kayak, you get over here a lot longer time. Because you're gonna have to cattle your way through this. Imagine how long it would have taken me to get just right here. Would have been a lot longer. Okay, so now for the hiding area, it's one of the bigger fish in the game. So you're gonna have to use a large tackle for it, obviously. And you're gonna have to, you know, hunt for it too. See, the thing about the hiding area is, you'll be able to spot them pretty easily over in this area I'm about to show you. But you got to catch it close enough to land to where it'll bounce off the land and come back to you without going 100 feet away. Because if it goes greater than 100 feet, it's going to break your, break your line. And then you're not going to catch it. So kind of like if I cast right in the middle of the this part of the lake, it's going to break my line. So I got to find it closer to the land to where it's going to swim into the land shore and bounce back to it. So I got to catch it closer to the land than where we are right now. So the way I do it is I circle around looking for it between me, the boat, and the land. And then I can't, there's one right there. You see it to the right? See if we can tempt it to, first of all, let's make sure we're on the right size. But we're going to see if we can tempt it to come closer to us. We're going to go with a rainbow large because we wanted to tempt it to actually swim towards land to try to catch the bait. This is the only big type of fish. Oh, yeah, being on the boat, we won't let us both of us come up. We're going to have to catch some on shore so you can be there, too. Want to do that? Yeah, okay. Let's give it a few seconds. It's on the right side of us. We're trying to get it to swim to the left side of us. We should be able to see it passing under the boat, coming towards the bait if it's going to do it. I don't see it doing that yet. We'll give it a few more seconds and maybe we'll cast right in front of the boat and see if that works instead. That's what we're going to do. Bring it a little bit closer to where it is. Is it still over there? I don't see it no more. So let's go ahead and motor around. It disappeared on us. They don't do that sometimes. Nothing to be worried about. See how I'm going pretty slowly around? I'm not scaring off the fish, is what I'm doing. I'm not going real fast once you get to the area. You don't want to do that. This is the place where actually it would be beneficial to have a kayak. Okay, it's right under our boat, so I'm going to cast right there. That should be a good location to cast to. Because it should attract the fish to come to us. Now, if anything bites our hook, there's got to be the hiding area. There's no other large fish in this area. So once the hook goes down, we know it's it. Set your tap.
And it just takes some patience now. Unless it disappeared, which we can't see under our boat, obviously, to tell, it should still be there. We might see it swim out towards the hook, or we might not. It just depends. So we got to be ready to set our hook. If it bites us, we want it. And right here, it shouldn't be able to swim out greater than 100 feet, and we should be able to have it bounce off the shore and come back to us. That's when you got it. Because if you don't have it that close to you, it's going to break your line. It's a powerful little fish, or a big fish, really. We're going to wait a little bit longer to see if we can attract it to come to us. Now, with this fishing tournament in this area, it's a lure fishing contest, and it's the number of fish you catch, not the size of the fish. So you got to catch a great quantity of fish to win here, and you got to find a good spot to do lure fishing at. So we're going to see if we can't get uh, compete for that after a while, but that won't be this video, obviously. Okay, so I still don't see it coming towards us unless that's the shadow of it right there under the boat. But I can't tell. So let's go and pull it in and see where we're at. See if we see that fish anywhere around us. There it is right there. Now, obviously, we can't, we can't cast towards the middle of the lake and hope it'll get us. It's not going to. But we can back up some. See, that's where it is. Let's see if it'll come back towards us. See, it's still right there. It is still right there. I could show you what I mean, but I'd rather not do that. Let's see if we can get this thing. Let's go ahead and move this boat out just a little bit. Now it's going to be right in front of our boat. We're going to cast right here. So right in front of our boat, but towards the land. See if we can get that fish to actually follow our hook. See what we can do. This don't work. We're going to go right in front of the boat. Because that could work too. Let's see what it does. Key is patience. We can't get impatient because if we get impatient, we'll cast towards it and then it'll swim and break our hook. So we ain't no, no sense in doing that. We don't want to do that. That would get frustrating, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. 
There we go. We got it to come near us. Hopefully it'll pop back up. But we got it to come over to our hood. You seen it disappear? Yeah. So let's be patient. See, it was still the one on the right side. There's still one over there. Okay, so we're going to go right in front of the boat. I bet you that will attract that fish. If we can get it to go towards the shore, we'll be good. See, now at least we can see the fish. We can see our bait. We're going to know when it's going for us. See its tail now. Come on, hiding area. You know you want that rainbow bait. Let's give it a few more seconds. If it don't come back in our picture, we're going to have to move around some. Try to see if we can get one between us and the land. That's a smart fish to stay out where it is. It really is. It knows better than to come towards us. And it's still here. Wow. You don't normally see one just hang out there like that that long. Let's get a little bit closer to land and we're gonna to try to lure this one to the rock. Let's go right here. So now it's right in front of it, but we can get it bounce into that rock and off. It should get it. We should be able to catch it right there. So let's see if we can get that fish to come that much further up. Never seen one hang out like that in the middle of the 
ocean all day long or the lake, I mean. What do you think? Goes closer to land and see if we'll come that way? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, under consultation with my son, we're going to go closer to land. You got one. Now I got the strongest tackle in the world, but you're gonna see, it's not strong enough for me. Well, at least in this game, I don't know about the world. <laughs> but is that strong enough for him? He's a strong fish. But what you're gonna see is, as it starts bouncing off that rock, it's gonna start bouncing back. We just can't let it get 100 feet out. See, it's going to start bouncing into that rock right there. It can't swim no further, so it's not going to be able to break our hook. I think as far as it's going to get, it's about 80 feet, 85 feet. I always swim past the rock. Let's see what we can do now. We got to keep it from getting 100 feet out or else it's going to break our line. Okay, so we're not close yeah. enough for it. It happens. That, that's the type of fish that you gotta be very careful with. We yeah, we haven't missed a fish in a while, that's for sure. I see one, I see one, I see one. We gotta be quiet. We got them. We got one. We just need one of them to nibble at our hook, and we got it. We got one. That kind of worked out the way it went, especially being an instructional video. You know what I'm talking about now. See, once it got over 90 feet away, it broke our hook immediately. Yeah, yeah. Even though we got really good tackle. That wasn't even supposed to happen. Well, unfortunately it does with this type of fish because it's just so big and strong. I know, like Mr. Incredible. Yep, it's like having Mr. Incredible on the hook. He's not going to work out too well. He's just big and strong. I hope he starts bouncing off this uh, land is what we're counting on before he breaks the hook. Again. I know it. That will be frustrating. Yeah. He will ruin our whole YouTube video. Okay, we got him at 89 feet. He can't go no farther. You uh, see that? Yeah. 
So he's going to get tired of you know, bouncing into that land and coming back. He's going to get tired of that and end up well over power. And then, so he's already come in one foot. So we're going to let him go back and forth like that for a little while. Don't get too far in the red. That's when he'll break the line anyway, even though we can't swim no further. That's what I was talking about, him bouncing off the land, guys. Better not die again. We're not. He's not tired yet. He's about to get there, though. He's about to be tired. Yeah, he's about to get worn out. This is, I'm sure that's a lot of work. You got him hook in your mouth. You try to swim away. You bounce into land, and it's making you come back. And you can't swim no further. How frustrating could that be? Coming in. He might not like coming in, but he's coming in. Yeah, we need you for our aquarium so we can approve it. And then once we approve our aquarium, um, I'm still thinking there will be multiple stuff to do after we beat the game. Right? Oh, sure. We got to increase our tanks, open some tanks at the aquarium, all kinds of things. Yeah, catch all the different types of fish, which we got a lot to catch still. You stick with us to catch this fish and then we cash them in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the uh, hotel room and we're gonna look at all the different types of fish to catch in this area of the lake. So we wanna make sure we catch all the fish in this area before we actually leave. <laughs> Taking a while for him to get worn out. And we don't want to go too far in the red because then he can break a loop. So now he's starting to come in. He's getting tired. No sense in getting into a red right now because he's coming in anyway. The only way we lose him is if we get too far in the red, guys. No being impatient right now. We got to be patient. He's at 83 feet. Then we let him swim back out to 85. That can feel good. Now we got him 82 feet away. He's starting to get worn out. Uh, how long is this going to take? A few more moments. Almost how there. Long Almost is there. I don't know, a few more minutes, I would say. This is a test between our, our patience and the fish's perseverance. And I think we're gonna win this fight. In fact, I know we will. get to the orange. I ain't letting it get to the red right now. There's no sense in it. It's getting tired. He's 
bouncing him to land right now. That's all he's doing. He thinks he can break free, but he can't. See how you do it, Jess? Just be patient. How do we defeat this guy? He's getting tired, James. Just waiting until he gets tired. That's how we defeat him. So he's 86 feet away. We're going to let him swim back out. This time, hoping we get him to about 70% feet away. Remember, what is this a fight between? Our patience and his perseverance. So in other words, we got to be made more patient than okay. he is perseverance. Okay, I'm going to look to see what time it is. 26 minutes. 26. Oh. For some reason, our, our, they let us do longer fishing games than we do anything else. I don't know why. Have you noticed that? The fishing game can go 35 minutes, no problem. They won't break into different videos. I don't know why. I don't understand it, but that's the truth. Okay. So we're okay. Uh, which day takes so long? How we beat this guy a quicker way? I don't know how we do it a quicker way. It's always taking a long time to beat these type of fish. Sometimes if you're closer to the land, you can do it quicker. But we got a little distance to the land. I thought he was going to swim into the trees and have to bounce back, but that didn't happen. Ah! It's okay, James. We're in the orange. We didn't go all the way to the red. We're okay. Oh, oh, I was going to say... I don't need you to be a nervous Nelly, too. I was going to say we died again. See, he's still bouncing back from the, from the land. The land is helping us. Okay, so you'd rather me not go that far? Yeah. Right there. Okay, you got it. You get too nervous when I go further. Yeah, I think he died. Just okay. dance to the music, dude. We're okay. I got it. I'm dancing to the music. Maybe enjoyable for you guys. I won't be enjoyable for me. There we go. He's getting tired now. Yeah, now we can get him. That was a strong fish. Yeah, yeah. It was strong enough. This is incredible. If you guys can remember that game. I'm sure they've seen the movie at least. Yeah, but the Ouija wasn't able to see the second. I mean the first movie. The Ouija wasn't able to see the first movie. We can show it to him. That guy's gotten tired, it looks like. The lady, I'm not sure which it is. It's hard to tell with fish, you know. We're almost there! We're almost there! Now come on, we can catch him! Actually, nope, nope, I won't say it. I won't say it. Every time I say it, then... Something bad. Nothing yeah. bad's going to happen today on this one.
And 31 feet away. We're almost there, guys. Yeah! See, our patience won over his perseverance. He sure did. He's trying to dig a hole in the earth we and get it by swimming. The fishing master, Long. Not yet. We'll get there. We're going to be fishing kings eventually. Yeah. I mean, after a. Hey, look at that! That's a big one. Dad, after. Dad, after a poop in our aquarium. Will there be harder fish to catch? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, there's a harder one, at least trolling fishing. There's even a harder one to catch here in this area. Is that the one we just caught the hardest one? Expert rank number one. It's getting late. We got to go in. But guess what? We might have a cutscene coming up. You think we got a cutscene, guys? Let's see. Yeah, so. Yes, because we accepted it as our challenge and we caught it. What have you got there? Hi, Naria. Very nice. Maybe I'll try to catch. Yeah, some people weren't able to catch that fish. Isn't that a rare hi, Naria? Very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, so if you guys don't do... That was worth 66,000 points because it was an A and because yeah. it was our bonus fish. Yeah, if you guys um, don't find out how to catch another fish, then you won't be able to catch that fish, then you're trapped at that stage forever. I don't know about that. But yeah, we just showed them how, so they don't have to be trapped at nothing. Yeah, now you guys will be trapped Okay, so they still got us ranked okay, entry fate, okay. We're only charging 10 points. Come on, people. Okay, so we got to improve our aquarium very soon. But what I want to show y'all guys is how to look. Yeah, well, how to look at the uh, where we are. The, that's Dual Rebel Lake. That's Cana Lake. That's where we are. What have we not caught? So we haven't caught this one right here. That looks like a muskie, maybe? Let's yeah. see what this one is. It'll tell us. That's a walleye. I think that's a muskie. So we need to go catch a muskie. We need to catch a white surgeon. surgeon. This one right here and this one right here. And I, we'll have How to look them up. How do you know what the white surgeon looks like? Because he's like the biggest fish ever right there. And that is the one we just caught. Okay. So with that, we're going to sign off. Thank you for stopping by, guys. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, we'll catch back up with you later. Go ahead, James. Yeah, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow at the KN Lake Tournament. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.